Hey, welcome back. So previous episode, we talked about how to fetch the data in your Python environment. In this episode, we're going to build a very simple machine learning model called a logistic regression model. The reason we use this model is because A, this is the most basic model to get you started, and B, here we're trying to classify this target variable into three classes. So we are in a field of what we call a classification problem. So without too much in mathematical detail, this is the graph that help you understand what is a logistic regression model. For a logistic regression model to happen, it is built upon the understanding of a linear regression model, which is on the left-hand side of this graph. Now, the interesting thing here is linear regression model means that it's a line, right? Since it's a line, it can extend from bottom left to top right corner, however long you want. And that is a problem because we don't want that. In classification setting, we really want a probability, meaning that everything is bounded in between 0 and 1. And logistic regression precisely give that outcome. Uh, so that everything in between is some sort of fraction that we're looking at some sort of percentage sign. So with that being said, that is essentially all you need to know. Then let's dive into the code. So to help us get started, we're going to be using scikit-learn package. First thing we're going to do is to import a function. So we're going to say from scikit-learn dot linear model import logistic regression. And that gives us this logistic regression function. Now what we're going to do is we're going to instantiate a model, model equal to logistic regression. And that is a model that we have. Now here, this parenthesis is completely empty. We haven't done anything to it. This is just a blank model. Now we're going to tell the model what to do. So we're going to say dot fit is an instruction that I tell the model, hey, I want to fit the data. And then I have to tell the model what data I'm using, right? So I send in the features and the target. They are X and Y. I run that lines of code. This model will be now trained on these two sets of features. It will learn from X and try to predict Y. Now let's take a look at what is exactly Y. Y is the class, meaning that these are the categories of the observations we have in a data set. So to understand how well this model is doing, let's make some predictions. So here we can say y predict equal model dot predict. And we feed the x in there. And of course, you probably guessed this x is exactly the same as this x that I used to train the model, meaning that this is in sample prediction. So once this is predicted, let's check out what that looks like. So what I predict, let's print that out. It is an array of all these classes in quotation mark. Now I want to understand how well this is doing, right? What is the accuracy here? So to do that, I need to equate this what I predict with the ground truth. The way we do that is what I predict equal y class. This gives us true or false. And now we can compute the average. And boom, there you go. In sample training, we have 97%. So hopefully this gives you some food of thought. And hopefully you like this video. Stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next episode.